Hello and welcome to the Lean on Agile show. I'm your host Shaheen and I'm going to talk about a simple and yet typically uh, repeated challenge that I see in different teams. And that's a user story. Typically, uh, when you get engaged with uh, an Agile team, there is this notion that we are writing user stories and we want to write better user stories, we want to estimate better user stories and, and go about it like that. They ask you as an Agile coach to help them to write user better user stories and give them tools to do that. Um, First of all, if you if you are typically working in a Scrum fashion or in a Kanban fashion, uh, user stories are from XP. So user stories were supposed to be something small, something not gigantic, something that can be uh, done very easily. And they're supposed to be meant by, to be compo- com- consumed by uh, developers to understand what actually the user wants and deliver something that has value to the user. Uh, so if you engage yourself in a situation that you have <coughs> technical user stories or you see we have a user story, a dev user story, a QA user story, I have seen that many places happen. You are not using the user story properly. So, and not using it properly is uh, something that you can think about. Why do we need to use user stories, right? Why can't we have tasks if the system doesn't allow for user story to be implemented and be used properly? So, let's not use that. Let's, Let's start from where the system is. The system is doing hands-off, like moving from one part of the organization, handing off to other other part of organization. And they think by just introducing user stories, everything would be solved and resolved. So if you can, move away from using user stories. If you can't, let them use user stories, but in your mind as a change agent, try to use it the way that is proper and the way that it truly shows the the status of the system and if they come and ask you to help the team to write better user stories keep in mind that writing better user stories is not the goal that you are after Actually, I can argue that if you are spending time writing better user story, you are you are drafting away from the original goal that was to collaborate and have a share, better shared understanding of what the user wants. Because if you are spending more time writing, you are going to spend less time on, on talking about it, on understanding it as a group, as a team. So if someone comes and asks you to, hey, uh, you're an Agile coach, Um, this team seems to have huge user stories. Like, can you educate them on and teach them, maybe have a session with them, a working session with them, or educational session? Give them tools to write smaller user stories. That's a good start to have a conversation with, with that person that's asking you and, and understanding the, the, the reason behind the ask. So if they have big user stories, what do you need from them? If that's the system that allows big user stories, how can you help with that? So go deeper, ask him like if, okay, so by probably he's assuming smaller stories means more delivery. In his mind or her mind, it might be more velocity. It might be a faster turnaround time. If the system doesn't allow, what could you do? Um, Help them write better user stories. And, And if you go through that rabbit hole of 
getting to help them with writing better user stories is gonna pile up and pile up and pile up then you would see working with, with teams that they have huge user stories that reminds you of BRDs if you remember those days and uh, huge requirements because you focus on writing and not on delivery and uh, if you if you think about it agile focuses on collaboration versus documentation it doesn't say documentation is not needed it's, it says that we value working software over comprehensive documentation if you are focusing on writing better user stories imagine which part you are focusing on so that's that's a sign that the system even if they believe they're agile they are lacking the mindset how can you help with that mindset i hope uh, i hope this 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 small episode give you an ignite and inspiration to to deal better or work better with user stories in your organization and if you're coaching or are you a scrum master or as a, as a dev lead or whatever whatever role you have in working with user stories even if you are a developer or if you are a BA you are part of that system you can influence that you can ask questions and tell them that this user story we are spending so much time writing on it is it valuable and then you can can change the system i hope to see you again on my next episode and have a great rest of your day